In today's OpenGL demo, I'm showing off a completed normal map in this very basic scene. So as you can see here, we got two cubes, one acting as a light source, one not. And if I push T, we can pause the scene. And we can see that the light source reflects on this brick texture. And if we go up close, we can actually see that the brick texture, the different cracks and grooves in the brick texture reflect accordingly. But if I push space, we can disable this. And we can see how now, if you look at it, it doesn't look quite as 3D because all the bricks, the normal map has been disabled. And we can push play again and then turn it back on our normal map. And it looks like this. All right, so how this works is what we have to do is down here where we create our normal normal our coordinates and our texture cords for our cube here we pass in another vec3 into this and this is a tangent and we get the tangent is we run this little for loop right here which runs this function calculate tangent for normals and it grabs a chunk so like eight of these like this and what the function will do is it first separates it back out so we'll get the three positions and it, it actually grabs like a triangle so it grabs like that and then it separates out the three texture coordinates and then it'll find two edges by subtracting positions and then it'll find two basically edge text coordinates by subtracting the text coordinates with each other and we have this float delt which will times both delta uvs together and then the other two delta uvs together so we do delta uv 1x times 2y and then 2x times 1y and we have float f which we basically just check is it equal to zero because then we have to divide by zero which we don't want so if it is we just set it to zero otherwise we do one divided by delt or det and then at the end we set our tangent equal to f times delta 2 dot y times edge and then one y times edge two and then we return the normalized version of that so what this basically does now that's a little complex but this basically just gets one of the parallel angles to our normal value and then from there we go down here and pass it into our vertex shader where we have a a pos a normal a text cord and then a tangent and down here we create a normal matrix which is just a transpose inverse model then we take t n and b so this is tangent this is our normal value then we do this dot multiplication for tangent and then we take the bitangent which is the other only possible angle that's parallel to these two or perpendicular i don't know but it, it, it gets the other one. So the normal faces away from the cube's texture and then tangent and bitangent run across it. And then after that, we create a mat three, which is a TBN and it's just our tangent, bitangent, and normal. And then we times light pause, view pause, and frag pause by this new mat three and pass those into the fragment shader. Now inside our fragment shader, it's very similar to just like a basic lighting setup. However, we use this tangent frag pause, this tangent view pause, and the tangent light pause instead. And while we create a normalized value, if we don't want the special effect on, so just the scene regularly like this, we just cast it, turn normal into a normalized value. Otherwise, what we do is normal, we actually grab a texture from a normal texture and then we times it by two minus one. So we actually get our normal values from a texture instead. And that is what allows us to have all this in-depth texture. And then to explain how we get the texture, you should click on this video here where I explain this very exact seam, but instead of having all the tangent math, it's just how to apply a normal map and it's much simpler. And until next time, see ya.